good morning <laughs> it is Wednesday morning and I think that I want to take you along and do like a mini work days in my life for like mini work week since you know we're already halfway through the work week but I um it's been a pretty calm week so far and I feel like this is gonna be a good week to share so um thought I would take you along with me like I said it's Wednesday morning getting ready to go into the office um I am running a bit late compared to my normal schedule but I have a little bit more flexibility this week because my boss is out of town he's on vacation and He's really the main person I work for. All my work really comes from him. So when when he's gone, he lets me definitely be way more flexible just because he knows <laughs> that he's my main source of work. Um, but I still have things to do. Um, it's just not as intense because obviously he's not in the office calling me in to do things or whatever. Um, so I have a little bit more flexibility, but I'm gonna go in today. He told me that I could work from home all week if I wanted to. I did yesterday and a little bit on Monday, but I feel like after about two days of being at home, I miss talking to people or miss seeing people in person just interacting um even if i like don't really talk to anybody at work just the fact of like seeing movement and like seeing people go by is super helpful to me otherwise i start to just like procrastinate and put things off like there's almost no social accountability being at home and Corey was at home also yesterday, but it's not the same. Like even during COVID after about a two day sprint, I was like, yep, I need to go back into the office. So we would rotate, thank goodness, because I don't think I could be a full-time work from home girly or I would need a lot more hobbies. Wow, that does not look cute. So, trying to just finish getting ready. I definitely still need to like eat breakfast. I need to pack up all my stuff um, because I didn't pack it up yesterday at the end of the day. My work from home stuff, like my laptop is just sitting out and stuff still. So not doing so hot there. Um, it's 8.01, oh my gosh, okay. I've never been in the bathroom getting ready this late before but I moved some stuff back on my work calendar. So if I don't get there till like 8.45, not a big deal. So going to finish getting ready and then head in. Okay, it is officially 8.32 and I'm leaving. So I should probably make it pretty close to 8.45, but holy cow. It's been a morning. <laughs> okay, I am officially off work. It is 4.50. I decided I was not going to stay until 5 today because, you know, I'm working kind of like a shorter schedule this week. But um, I don't feel like I hardly did anything today. It was just so chaotic. I feel like being in the office after not being in the office yesterday was a total mess. So I'm actually going to work from home again tomorrow. But yeah, I feel like I could not focus whatsoever. And it's still very cold out here. It's, the car says it's 31, but it feels way colder than that with the wind. So fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna head home and see what I can get started for the evening. Just got done filming my, what I have been warming. So, um, Corey had to do a little bit more work. So I figured I would just get that done before dinner. Now I need to like put away, this is the worst part about filming, like an actual sit down video where you need to gather stuff for is like doing the filming is whatever, putting everything away that you like pulled out to gather for the video. I feel like is the hardest part for me. 
I mean, I feel like cleaning in general, the hardest part for me is putting things away. And so I really struggle with this part. So instead of putting it off, I'm just going to do it right now while I kind of in, in my still like filming block, if you will. So yeah. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday today and I am okay. My passwords are on while I'm logging into my computer, hopefully, um, and waiting for it to boot up. I thought I would chat with you a little bit about some worky kind of stuff. So for those of you who aren't aware, I am an administrative assistant. I find that so hard to say always. Um, and basically what that means is I just have a dedicated, at the current time, I have one dedicated person I work for and I'm like their right hand person. So I do a lot of the like scheduling, monitoring like messages coming in, going out, distributing things to their team, making sure things are coming back from their team to them, etc. So just essentially like the gatekeeper <laughs> for my boss. Um, and I've had a few different types of these roles. Like I've supported multiple people in the past. I've supported more of like a group team, um, plus one main boss. So it's, it kind of just depends on like the role looks different in every single organization, but it's not a, like, I think some people hear that and they're like, oh, like you're the receptionist, like the front desk, like, yeah, but also you do so much more. Like I sit at the front <laughs> and direct traffic, but I'm also doing so many other things. So that is essentially my role. But like I said earlier, my boss is gone this week. So because he's the main person I work for, he's the main source of where my work comes from. So when he's gone, it's obviously a lot quieter. So because of that, I am working some days from home this week. And since I'm at home, I figured I would walk you through some things. So I just kind of want to share with you how I get organized or like started for the day I guess my computer is booting up but um once I like get officially into the system and like open my emails and stuff I will go through and stack my inbox I've recently just been doing this it's called the stack method you can just google it it's like free there's like free information on how to set it up but essentially you just like go through all your emails and like file them into where they belong into like grouped categories so because of the nature of my work I have some of that are like reply forward or file because like I send a lot of messages on behalf of my boss that he will send over to me um and then I have a whole a whole folder I guess I call meet it's for all like calendar requests because a big part of what I do is also related to the calendar so I have that um and then I have some miscellaneous ones like do of course like any actions that come in um review because I get a lot of things that I don't necessarily need to do stuff with but I want to like read through them if they're like all employee emails or like newsletters or things like that like assisting groups I'm in they send a lot of newsletters and stuff and then I have a remind one which is like anything I need to follow up on which also is another big part of my role because um there's a lot of follow-up and like making sure people are getting things in so I'll do that and then I d typically once I'm like kind of worked through that like stacking process and kind of go through some of the things I'll work through my first couple folders and then I'll make sure anything in the do folder I have in like my master to-do list which I just keep right in Outlook and then from there that's kind of like the source of truth if you will I just feel like flagging things or making tasks in Outlook has been a life saver for me I've always struggled I've always used like the flag items, but I've always struggled with keeping it like my master. And I finally feel like I have it sort of down, but because there's a lot going on in there, I don't love that. Like whenever there's a lot going on, 
I feel like I get overwhelmed and distracted, which is going to be kind of a recurring theme here. So that is a lot going on. So I like to take out just things that are like due soon. So I use this uh, productivity method planner. They actually just restocked these. It's I'll leave a link down below, but it's the productivity method. And basically, um, there's lots of videos on like how this works but I first of all I love a chunky planner like <laughs> that is one of my favorite things and this is so like I know Grace jokes like when she talks about this color about like Kim Kardashian West like this is what she like jokes about when she originally launched it but I do love the color of this but basically she has videos explaining it and there's videos on the website but let me just show you a blank page here so basically it's like broken down into this table and so you can I sometimes I used to use it daily and that's what it's made for with this like schedule section it's made for daily use so you can like put your schedule here and that has these sections like quick ticks tasks and projects but what I've recently and I've actually really been enjoying this I've been using it more of like a weekly view so I'll take all of the things on my like to-do list that I need to do and maybe more of like a week setting or you know like the next so many days and I'll kind of just lay them out on here and then once I fill the page up like say it's midweek and I need to start a new page because the old page is maybe just getting too overwhelming I can just flip to a new one because there's just repeating pages like it's just the whole book kind of is the same and then the front is like um more like weekly planning and like goal setting but I don't really use that I just like to use these pages honestly and yes you can totally just like draw out this or like write it on a piece of paper and sometimes if I'm desperate and I need some organization I will do that but I just love this book so I'll lay out everything here and then I'll go through and I'll just like take a highlighter for the day and I'll just highlight the ones that stand out to me that I really need to work on and then because like I said I get overwhelmed and I can't have like a mess I'll take this just like um lined notebook that's a ring bound and I like this ring bound because I can fold it over on itself but um I'll just take this and I'll take one page a day and then I'll just start making my list for the day then also I'll take anything that I highlighted on from my weekly to-do list but then if I also have like meetings, sometimes I'll just drop those at the top, like don't forget. Or if I have like a ton of meetings and I don't feel like I'm gonna get a lot of work done for the day, I will put those on here because then I feel like I'm getting, I, I know why I didn't do anything because I was in back-to-back -back meetings. Um, but I also enjoy this too, just because then if my boss was call me in and like tell me I need to do something, like he wants it done right now, whatever. Um, then I can put it on today's list and just work it right away. I feel like the nature of the assistant job is like no day looks the same. So I like to have this running kind of list of like actions. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just kind of go back and forth between like, I generally just use this kind of for the day to keep me more organized. Sometimes I won't like make it super big. I'll only write a couple things down if I really need to focus on something because I find when I write too many things down and I can't focus, I will just like skip around and not do some of the things I don't want to do. You know, those types of tasks that you're just like, it would take me five minutes, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, my computer is officially booted up here, but I just thought I would share because I always find it interesting when people share kind of their like organization process and yeah, hopefully that helped. But anyway, I'm obviously at home today. Like I said, um, Corey's also at home today. He, um, usually gets to work from home on Thursdays. So this worked out well. And so I think I'm just going to hit the morning kind of work through all my things and then I think maybe at lunchtime we're gonna try to go for a little walk and just get some exercise because he hasn't been feeling well and I think he could benefit from getting outside and moving his body a little bit so um that is the plan for the morning at least but I just thought I would check in and share some of those things 
Okay, so it's officially the end of the workday. It's actually pretty late. It's 6.10. Um, I don't typically ever work this late, like especially if I'm at home because it's pretty quiet. But um, I was really close to like finishing scheduling a bunch of meetings and it was like at the kind of like 5.30 mark and I was like, dang it, I'm not going to stop midway through this because I've done that in weeks past and I just like it creates a backlog you know so I worked a little extra and then as soon as I was logging off I realized I hadn't filled out my um like weekly planner so I just have this super generic um okay I thought it said it is the from Walmart blue sky uh weekly monthly planning calendar and it's just it's got like the tabs the month tabs on the side of it and so it's just a monthly and weekly calendar like I just said but it has lines can you see the lines on the monthly I love that it makes me so organized and then um this also just has lines here so what I basically like to use this for, of course, the monthly is more of like an overview look. And then the weekly it has each day and I just use it for work. So Saturday and Sunday are split, but I don't really use those. But there's enough lines here where I kind of just treat them as like hour blocks and I'll put in my meetings. So I like to kind of fill out the next couple of weeks just to get a general idea. And I like that it is spiral so I can of course lay it out but also it lays flat and it's really skinny so I can kind of just like lay it out like so and kind of get a week preview sometimes as well if I'm kind of trying to like plan things out on what I need to do when if it's getting a little hectic or I like don't have my other two planning situations those notebooks I showed you earlier I will like write my meetings on this side and I'll kind of write my to-do list on this side so I can kind of just like get the important things done um but yeah this I will take back and forth with me like home every day this week literally this is what this week looks like it's so sad there's like nothing in here I had an admin call on Monday I had a call yesterday and then we have um good Friday service on Friday like literally <laughs> there's nothing in here this week because this week has been so quiet with my boss gone I got um, my notes put together today for just get, getting ready. I'll probably send it off to him tomorrow in case he wants to check it like while he's flying back and stuff. But it's long. I'm just like, I have a lot of questions and things that I'm just holding or like are pending because obviously we haven't had our regular catch ups because he's out of the office. So I'm sure next week is going to be insanity once he returns. Um, and that's just how it always is. Also, I meant to say this earlier, my dang forehead is really having a moment here, especially I feel like this guy, these two just popped up this morning and I can't get rid of this one. So fun. So fun. I just love it. So I might, I kind of like did a little bit lighter on the makeup today even though I feel like it does not look that way in the camera but I might like take this off a little bit earlier than I normally do just to kind of let my skin have a little bit of a break and it is exfoliation night for skin cycling I wonder how that's gonna go with these friends that we have they're like most definitely ready to pop as well so that's so fun great I was like I'm glad I'm working from home today and don't have to talk to anybody I just like why are they in the middle of my forehead <laughs> but I try not to let that bother me too much like I, ha I have to remember when I'm breaking out my acne used to be so much worse like my whole entire forehead was covered and like most of my like chin area it's hard it's hard to remember those times like when it's flaring up you're like why am I so ugly? I used to have their skin. <laughs> I know everybody that gets acne can relate. So, um, Corey though, anyway, for the, moving on to the evening now, um, Corey went to B-dubs and originally I was going to go with him because the girls were going to go. And then at the last minute he was like, "Never mind, the girls aren't going anymore. And I was like, that's totally fine. 
I'm happy to be home as well. It's not a huge deal. So, but he did say he was going to get me wings still. So I love that. But I think since he did go out, I need to check in. I'm going to grab and I'm just going to say sitting here and I'm going to grab my personal computer and do a check in on like, what do I need to do? I can probably work on some sensey things and I maybe need to do some laundry possibly. So I'm going to kind of get that and kind of do a little check in and see where I'm at. A little update on the evening. I feel like I've actually gotten quite a bit done. I'm finishing up the towels that I did for laundry. I don't know if I've mentioned this already. I I have the hardest time like remembering what I said in my head and also said out loud and like sometimes I like film little bits and like don't post things. So I, I'm never like quite sure what I shared and what I didn't share. But anyway, I'm working on folding the towels right now. I've been trying to do the like one load a day situation, <clears throat> which is obviously in reference to laundry. I feel like it's mostly a like people with like kids or like a lot of people living in their house, like they have a lot of laundry. We don't necessarily have a ton, but I also find when I do it more often, the load isn't massive and like not as overwhelming. So even though it's only Corey and I in the house and, and Gemma, um, like that we're, you know, we don't have laundry for like kids and stuff or other people that live here. And honestly, most of it's probably mine. <laughs> but I find that when I let things pile up and like go longer than a week without doing a specific set of <laughs> laundry, I get really overwhelmed by it. So I've heard people say, you know, like do one load of laundry every day and I'm not like strict about it. Um, but I've been trying to get better about like, you know, on nights that we're home, like tonight and like last night I did the delicates, just popping them in. Like we're here, I can take care of it. Um, but I also don't have to be super strict. Like if we're going to go out for a night, like obviously, you know, Corey went out tonight. I don't need to like pressure myself into doing it. But also then if I don't want to do it on the weekends and I want to have free time, I can, but then I can use the weekends as backup essentially. So I don't know. I feel like we'll see if it sticks, but I feel like it, it's, it makes me feel better in the moment. I feel like the thought of it, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do laundry every night is kind of like dreading just because I, I just dread doing the laundry. I feel like the folding is the part I hate and like putting it away. Once again, putting things away is my downfall on why the house is messy. Also, these are all Corey's clothes that he needs to also put away. So two non put awayers <laughs> in the house. Um, anyway, so I'm finishing this up. This is kind of like my last little thing I had to do. Well, no, that's not true. So this is like my last little thing I kind of had on my list, but not on my list, but I need to do it. I never did any of my Scentsy. I need to like look at some Scentsy stuff. Um, I know I sent out some happy mail and I need to respond to some text messages of people who got their happy mail and were asking some questions. And every time I look down at my phone, I'm like, God, I need to do that. But then I you know, keep doing these other things. I keep getting distracted. So I think that <clears throat> I need to shower probably just, I'm not probably not going to wash my hair. I've been trying to let it go. It doesn't look great, but <laughs> I've been trying to let it go a little bit longer in between washes. Not that I'm like trying to like drain my hair or anything. Like I don't really I don't know. I, I'm not like trying to do anything specific with my hair, like get to one wash a week, but I've been trying to get to more like a consistent, like four days. And I usually do like three and four. <laughs> this is maybe too much information, but um, also like this giant string came off and I couldn't like rip it off. It just kept tearing. So I need to cut that off. Um, so I've been trying to go 
just like a few extra days and just been trying to like experiment with like it doesn't have to be perfectly washed all the time like I have hairstyles I can do like I can slick it back and stuff like that and so I've just been trying to let it have a few more extra days in between unless it's like bothering me like if it starts like getting like feeling irritated then obviously I'll just wash it but I feel like going back and forth between three and four so typically I would do like um like let's say Wednesday and Sunday nights I kind of would shift it a little bit but like I would do like three days in the middle of the week so like generally Monday and Thursday were my days um but then I felt like I don't know I just I didn't love the results it was giving me I felt like on my three-day hair it would almost like look worse than my four-day hair I don't know if that makes any sense but I just felt like it wasn't consistent like I don't know I don't feel like that's really making sense but that's essentially my angle so I don't while I could probably wash it tonight and it is Thursday I am not going to oh gosh I'm so sorry um I'm not going to and then what are we doing tomorrow night tomorrow night's Friday and I don't feel like we're doing anything but then I also could wash it Saturday morning now I'm gonna get into the like the um the predicament of like I'm going too many days but whatever I'm gonna make it happen that's what I'm gonna do and okay what I was going for is I'm gonna take a body shower and then um hopefully at that point Corey will have returned with the food because I'm gonna be ready to go to bed and I'm hungry. like I ate a little bit once I realized like he wasn't coming around a sensible dinner time for me I just like had a little bit of food um but like not dinner, like I'm still kind of hungry. <laughs> um, so if he comes with the food, which I sent him a text like, hey, were you coming? I sent him a picture of Gemini and he commented on the picture of Gemini and not the food situation. So um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but <clears throat> if he returns and I get to eat even if it's after my shower I might try to get on and maybe respond to some of those messages because I do really want to do that I mean maybe I should do it regardless after the shower um if I'm eating or not eating <laughs> but yeah that's kind of my status there and this is the last towel so yeah I don't know if I'll like pop back on and check in tonight but tomorrow like I said, I'll be back in the office, so I'll probably do another check-in then. Happy Friday morning. Um, I'm running incredibly late today. It's 8.35. We had a little bit of a rough morning. <laughs> so, um, I didn't really wake up when my alarm went off like I woke up but I snoozed a hundred times and so I was getting ready super late my hair was not cooperating I was trying to put this bad boy in a bun she's just in a ponytail because I'm over it uh no coffee so I made myself a nice coffee but it's freezing outside <laughs> but we're making it work so I'm just letting the car warm up a little bit and yeah I definitely am going to be rolling in like right at nine o'clock today so fun <laughs> okay so it is friday after work we officially made it through the work week i actually feel really good about how the day ended here at work versus i guess how it started um but uh it is officially easter weekend so Corey and i are gonna go to good friday service tonight at church and yeah, I think I'm just probably going to wrap this up here and kind of just let us enjoy our weekend. And yeah, but I feel pretty good about today. It was pretty quiet at work because I think a lot of people were out because it's Easter weekend. A lot of kids like didn't have school and stuff. So yeah, I actually got <laughs> actually everything on my list that I intended to do today, I actually did. So it's a W, we love it. 
But yeah, I just wanted to say things were kind of coming along for the last few days. Sorry if they were chaotic, but that's kind of just how I roll when it comes to videos. Like I don't really have a plan. I just share what I share and I hope you like it. So thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.